Oh, 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 we're on. We're on. Uh, interpersonal communication. My name is Mike Joswak. I'll be your instructor for the day. Hi there. Uh, oh, oh, we're in chapter eight. We are. We just talked about self-disclosure. In chapter seven, we talked about knowing yourself. Chapter eight is going to be the beginnings of showing yourself in a relationship and really, quite frankly, busting holes in that brick wall. We talked about all that yesterday. Today, I want to show you, I want to show you the, uh, the Johari window. I made some reference to this yesterday. And if you, if you got a little head start, if you used your Google machine, if you got in there at all, you, you'll understand that the Johari window is really kind of a map of where people are at in certain relationships. And we'll go back to Tony and Tina because it's handy and because that's how we started the semester. All right, so where exactly are Tony and Tina in the relationship as far as self-disclosure is concerned, sharing their feelings, values, beliefs, and experiences now, the E, and experiences with each other. Where are they? Well, uh, uh, Dr. Johari invented a chart, sort of a chart, um, and we're going to drop it in now, but before we do that, before we drop it in, let me just tell you, it is never, in real life, it is never really this neat, this, this organized, this exact. I mean, you're going to see four equal quadrants of Johari. It's not like that, and we'll talk about that ad nauseum as we start to get into the end of this chapter, uh, ch chapter 9 and chapter 10. Uh, the, the skills, chapter 10, by the way, the skills needed to maintain that life partnership, that soulmate, that best friend, if you will. All right, so let me, let me just drop in, boom, let's just drop in the Johari window in its glorified neatness. You can see four equal quadrants on the magic whiteboard here. Uh, four equal quadrants. Now, for the test, for the test, understand that I'm going to hold you accountable for what's at the A point and the B point, the C and the D point, and then the quadrants, the E, F, G, H quadrants. I'm going to hold you accountable for that, so, so you might want to just pause this thing as it rolls down. You might want to go back, knowing that I've said this now, and write it all down. Take some notes so you don't have to go flipping and flopping around trying to search it out during the test. The test, by the by, early, yeah, I, I shouldn't say early. I'd say mid to late next week because of Wednesday wellness days. We're, we're probably looking at Thursday or Friday of next week. Got it? Good. Let's look at this Johari window. Let's look at this Johari window. And let's tell you that it is read down and across, down and across. So let's start at the A point. If, if this is what's known to you, yourself, and I'm reading down, the, you know, the, the corresponding quadrant, the E quadrant, where the A and the C come together, I'm reading down and across, A and C. This is stuff that's known to yourself and other people know it. Okay, so back to Tony and Tina. In the open quadrant, the E quadrant, this is stuff, reading down and across, please, this is stuff that's known to Tony, and other people know it about Tony. It's called the open quadrant. Why? Well, I'll tell you, because that's what Tony has already opened up. He's let people see it. He's He's, he's let people in, if you will. And some of the stuff he can't actually hide. Listen, some of the stuff in your open quadrant of Johare, you can't hide. Okay? You have blonde hair. You can't hide that. And if you dye it, then you have green hair. All right? And you dyed it green. It's in the open quadrant when Tony first walks in the door in, in math class. Tony first walks in the door. There's some things that he can't hide. He's tall. He's male. He's, he's got black hair. 
and he's got that Italian accent. You know Tony, right? Me and uh, me and Tony, right? Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. In the open quadrant, the E quadrant. Remember this. Remember this. In the E quadrant, which is the open quadrant, this quadrant contains things that Tony knows about Tony, and he has shared them. He has opened up to other people. So now Tina also knows this about Tony. Tina knows this about Tony. And Tony knows it about Tony. All right. All right. So let's keep going down. Let's keep going down from the A known to self. Let's keep going down that column. All right. We get to the hidden or the secret quadrant of Johari. Now let's read across. We go down the A and we hit that hidden or sequent, not the secret. Now we're going to go across from the D point, which is not known to others. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist. But you're going to have to study this and get it, you know, get it sort of ingrained before we move on here. Look, what is in that quadrant that Tony knows, but other people don't? Well, that's the stuff that he is either keeping secret, personally never going to share, or hasn't yet shared it with Tina. That's the stuff that he's hiding behind that brick wall because he's been made fun of, because he's been slammed in middle school. Okay? It's risky business getting out on that, uh, that you know, that limb and shaking around a little. He doesn't fall into that crap again. Okay? He's hiding some things. Mask. Okay? And the things that he's hiding or just hasn't gotten around to sharing or opening up to, Tina, the things that is that he's hiding fall in that secret or hidden quadrant. Now, this is going to be crucial as we watch relationship developments. I'm going to get a little ahead of the game, just a little ahead. Tony, if he wants to really make Tina his best friend, his soulmate, his life partner, he has got to shrink down, minimize that hidden or secret quadrant. He can't hide things from Tina. He can't. All right, we'll talk way more about that later in life, maybe even tomorrow. <laughs> Which, you know, by the way, is later in life. Okay, all right. All right. The open quadrant, things that Tony knows and Tina knows, things that Tony knows and other people know. The hidden quadrant, the secret quadrant, the uh, secret quadrant of Johari, hidden or secret. I'll take both on the test. That's the stuff that Tony has yet to tell. And honestly, quite frankly, there may be one or five things in that hidden quadrant that Tony takes to his grave. He is never going to tell anyone. There might be. Uh, uh, but as the relationship matures between Tony and Tina, he better open up and shrink that secret or hidden quadrant. Two seconds. Two, two seconds. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yummers. Oh, yummers. Yeah, yeah, yummers. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's move over to the F quadrant, if you will. And again, reading down and across. Uh, down and across. The blind quadrant of Johare. The blind quadrant. Believe it or not, believe it or not, this is a quadrant filled with things that Tony doesn't even know about himself, but Tina does. In the blind quadrant, in the blind quadrant, it's stuff that I don't know about me, but other people know. In the blind quadrant, it's things that, you know, are not known to self, read down, and then read across, but are known to other people. What? What? Yeah, see, back in college, uh, back when dirt was new, when I went to when I went to college, back in nineteen. <coughs> I'm sorry. Um, way back when, um, I, I had a professor that explained it this way. She said to me, she said, write to me. She said, uh, uh, Joe's whack. 
She goes, it'll be easy to wrap your head around what's in the blind quadrant if you nickname it the bad breath quadrant. Bad breath quadrant. Here's why. Tony doesn't know he's got bad breath. Tina does. Tony drinks coffee every sing... Hold on a second. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yum. Oh, Tony drinks coffee every single day. Okay. He's got coffee breath. He doesn't know that. Tina does. Tony snores like a freight train. He's, he, the dude snores. When Tina says, uh, uh, do you, uh, uh, do you realize you snore? He goes, no, I don't. Why? Because he's blind to it. He's blind to it. Tina's blind to some things too. Read down and across. There are some things that Tina doesn't know about Tina that only Tony knows about Tina. Oh, 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 and the rest of the world, okay, or her friends for sure, all right? She doesn't know she's got a goofy laugh, you know, that she ends her laugh in this wonky, weird way. You know, Tina laughs like this. <laughs> she does. She does. Every time she, she, she guffaws, she launches into this weird kind of <laughs> okay? She doesn't even hear it. To her, uh, that's natural. To Tony, oh, that's weird. All right, so here's the deal. Tony knows Tina's got a weird laugh. Tina doesn't. She's blind to it. And you, oh, campers, here's the deal. Multiply this by a bazillion things that we don't know about ourselves, but other people do. Okay? And trust me, as a speech teacher, teaching speech, I've seen kids that have no clue about the ticks. They have no clue that every two, like three or five words, they click their tongue like, you know. And it, and it, it's fun. It's, it, it's real. The blind quadrant exists. Now, here's something, here's something fascinating about Johari. Because of that blind quadrant, because of that blind quadrant, Johari postulates that eventually, if Tony, for instance, opens up completely, tells Tina everything, he's told her what he values, what he believes, what he really, quite frankly, what he finds of worth, you know, what his emotions are, you know, involving certain things, his feelings. He's even told her his experiences, including, including that thing that happened when he was six, including grandpa. In, he, he, honestly, quite frankly, he has opened up completely. Johari then postulates that Tina, because she knows all of that, Tina can know Tony better than Tony knows Tony because of the blind quadrant. Because of the blind quadrant. You know, she hasn't told him that he's got bad breath and snores and he makes that weird clicky noise. She No, she thinks some of that's cute as a matter of fact, especially that weird clicky noise. She's not going to tell. She doesn't need to tell him that. So there are, there are, there are moments in Johari where Johare postulates that Tina can know Tony better than Tony knows Tony. There is a phenomenal soulmate relationship, and it's possible. It doesn't always exist, you know. Like I said, Tony could keep some things in that hidden quadrant forever. Because really, you know, um, exposing Tina to that or opening up you know, uh, would do the relationship no good. Okay? But there are some things, man, I tell you, woman, I tell you, listen, listen very carefully. Some things between soulmates, life partners, best friends, some things should not stay hidden. We're going to see in chapter 9 that if those, if those come to light later on, it's going to be like, why haven't we talked about this before? How long are we going to keep that hidden or secret? Okay, all right, all right. It takes trust to climb up over the risk. We're going to learn that in Chapter 9, but right now the last quadrant of Johare. 
Oh, take a sneaky peek down in the bottom right hand corner. Oh, gotta scratch my beard here. Down in the bottom right hand corner, it's my favorite. It really is. Read down and across. Have you done that? Good, good. Oh, good. Looking down and across, the unknown, or or what Johari sometimes called the mystery quadrant, the unknown or the mystery quadrant. Notice that I've dashed those lines too on that Johari window. Listen, this is stuff that Tony doesn't know about Tony and Tina doesn't know it about Tony. This is stuff that Tony doesn't know and nobody knows. Nobody knows it about Tony. I put a big question mark in this quadrant all the time. Don't, don't do that on the test. Just tell me it's the mystery or the unknown quadrant, please. But here's what I want you to think about it. There are things that you don't know yet about you, and nobody, including your parents, your teachers, your, your sisters, your brothers, nobody knows it about you. All right? Um, uh, the, I don't know, uh, the exact moment of our death. Unknown. Mystery. Oh, here's, here's a better example. Um, let's not go dark, shall we? Here's a better example. Uh, there are some things that you don't know about your future. Hmm. Do you think that Stephen King, who I will argue, will become America's greatest author eventually? It might take until after he's dead. But do you think that Stephen King when he was 12, knew about himself that he was going to become America's greatest author. No, and neither did his English teachers. I swear to you, you can look this up. But they, they, he got C's in English class. He didn't even like it. Okay? Uh, you know, the proper use of the semicolon. It's like, okay, fine. And then, you know, nobody knew. His teachers didn't know. He didn't know. His parents didn't know. It was a great mystery. Now, you can see, please, you can see why I've dashed those lines. That quadrant is quasi-infinite. It's jive-freaking-normous, if you want. It's infinite. Okay? Are you... Uh, gonna find a life partner. Are you, are you, are you, and, and if so, what's, uh, what's his name? Who is she? Who is she? Right? Uh, uh, man, uh, are you gonna get a dog? Okay. How many? Or cats? What? What? Oh, where, where are you gonna live? And multiply that by 456 bazillion. Like your first job, your second job, your third job, you're going to go to college, you're going to graduate. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you going to go backpack around Europe for a year? Okay. Mm. Mm, here's the deal. That unknown or mystery quadrant, man, I tell you what, that's where some of the real fun is. That's where some of the real fun is. All right, so here's the deal. Let's go through it really quickly. Reading down and across, the open quadrant, okay? This is what's known to yourself and known to others. You've opened up to them. You've shown them. You've told them. You say, this is what I believe. This is what I feel. This is what happened to me, you know? You, you've told them. In that secret or, you know, hidden quadrant, reading down and across, this is the stuff that you know you have not shared with others yet. They don't know it about you, but you do. Okay? Sooner or later, like I said before, chapter 9, with that soulmate, oh my gosh, open it up. Tell them. Let's read down and across again. That blind quadrant, this is the stuff that you don't know about yourself, but other people do. This is the stuff that Tony doesn't know, but Tina does. He snores. The dude's got bad breath. The blind quadrant. Reading down and across. That unknown or mystery quadrant, you don't know, nobody knows. You don't know, Tina doesn't know. Tina doesn't know, Tony doesn't know, etc. Okay? What do you really get? 
Well, okay, listen, in the last couple of seconds here, if somebody would have told me when I was 17, as a junior in high school, that I was going to be a high school teacher, <laughs> if, someone, if someone would have told me that when I was 30, 30 years old, working in the business world, that I was going to stop that career and be a high school, I would, have, I would have laughed right at them. I would have laughed right at them. I didn't know. Nobody knew. What a mystery. All right. All right. I got to leave you there. I hate going longer than 20 minutes. Oh, oh I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Me precious. Listen, uh, we'll see you tomorrow with the not so neat version of Johari. Listen, the only time you see these quadrants equal in size like this, the only time you see them equal in size like this is for lecture, textbook, so that you can learn the quadrants. And that's what we've done today. Yay for you. Thanks for playing. Keep your stick on the ice. Have a nice day. Um, all that happy crap.